Hi everyone, it's Miss Jenix with Right From The Start. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about our emotions. So we have all different kinds of emotions. We can be happy, sad, mad, bored, scared, nervous, and all of our emotions are completely normal and completely valid. They all have, they're all necessary in a certain time and place. Um, so the big thing with emotions though is kind of how we master them. And this is a skill that comes as we grow up. There's two different ways we can learn how to master our emotions or how we can master our emotions and it's co-regulation and self-regulation. So co-regulation starts as we are babies and it is the idea of when we are, uh, when our emotions are too much to manage, somebody supports us in managing our emotions. So often as babies and toddlers, that's kind of our caregiver. Um, once we start going to school, teachers can absolutely co-regulate with us. Um, so it's kind of the idea of, you know, a kid's running on the playground and scrapes their knee and they're so upset and they can't manage their emotions, then maybe it takes a teacher to give them a hug to help calm them down. And that is co-regulating. As we get older and we begin to master our emotions more, we can begin to self-regulate. So self-regulation is doing just that, managing our emotions without the support of someone else. So that same child who ran and scraped their knee and is upset, maybe once they've kind of mastered their emotions a bit more, they realize that they can stop and take a deep breath and maybe ask for a band-aid and they can self-regulate themselves. It takes practice. Even as an adult, we will often co-regulate. If I'm feeling very, very upset, I might look to my partner or my best friend or someone to help calm me, and that's okay. Mastering our emotions takes a lot of time, a lot of practice, and sometimes it's just not easy to do. Um, and I'm actually going to use a volcano to show you what I mean by that. And so I'm going to talk mostly about anger when I do this. We often talk about the angry volcano and what can happen if we don't manage our emotions. So to start, I'm going to say that I'm a student and maybe today at recess I go outside and I scrape my knee and I don't tell anyone and I'm just so upset and I don't know how to handle it and I kind of let it ruin it the day a bit for me. I'm still managing, I'm still okay, maybe I'm not perfectly calm, maybe I'm finding it a little bit hard at school, but I'm okay. But then at lunch, I go to get hot lunch and somebody butts in front of me and I was so excited and now they get their food first and I'm upset. And again, I let it ruin my whole lunch. I spent all of lunch so upset. Maybe after lunch, I have math class and I don't like math class. And the teacher gives me two whole pages and I don't want to do it and I'm upset and I put my head down and I throw my paper away. So now my volcano is getting pretty full. I still haven't had an eruption. I'm still doing okay, but it's getting pretty full. I've got quite a bit of anger in there and I haven't released it at all yet. I haven't co-regulated or self-regulated. So it just keeps getting higher and higher. Maybe after school, I have hockey practice. And while at hockey, somebody hits me when they aren't supposed to. And I am angry. Nothing seems to be going my way today and I'm letting it affect the whole practice. I'm not listening to my coach, I'm being mean. And I'm, my volcano is getting pretty full now because all of these emotions are inside of me. So finally, I get home, I have dinner, and maybe after dinner, mom asked me to clean up the dishes, but I was playing video games and I don't want to. I wanna finish my video games. So now it's kind of my last straw. My volcano is so full. I'm so angry. I haven't done anything, so I don't know what's going to happen. So because I had all of these emotions and I didn't tell anyone and I didn't talk it out, I didn't co-regulate or self-regulate, I had a bit of a blow up. And this happens from time to time. Even as adults, we might sometimes have a little bit of a blow up and it's okay. It's okay for these things to happen. We need to recognize that they're a learning experience and think about what I can do differently next time. So my day today, I didn't really do anything to help. I got upset outside when I hurt myself and I didn't tell anyone. Somebody butted in front of me at hot lunch. And again, I could have told someone, I could have taken a deep breath. There's lots of coping skills I could have used to manage that and I didn't do anything math class. I got so upset that I had two pages. I promise you, I probably could have asked my teacher to do one page and then go for a little walk and calm myself. 
and then come back and finish the second page and I might have avoided this. There's lots of things throughout the day that we can do and as we are managing and mastering our emotions, we do these things. We will often take a deep breath when we get upset without even thinking about it because we are such masters. But this is what happens when we don't do that. So now I'm left here, had a blow up, have a big mess. I'm not gonna be able to clean this up. It's not going to be perfect like it was before, but I need to try my best. So the first thing I need to do is say I'm sorry and do my best to try and clean it up and try and realize what went wrong because tomorrow's a new day and maybe I can try again tomorrow to avoid this happening. I hope this helped a bit. Uh, I hope you know that this can be across any age. Maybe it wasn't someone buddy in front of me at hot lunch. Maybe it was someone's car cutting me off while I was driving. Mastering our emotions takes a long time to do and a lot of practice, but we can do it with the support of someone who loves us and cares for us, or we can practice on our own too.